Thank you for watching once again. Today I'm out here on the trap line and I caught a gray fox. So here he is. He looks pretty cool. The second gray fox of the year. He looks a little small, but that is just, this is the biggest trap I have, so that does make sense, of course. So I think it is going to be a good size gray fox. So, um, that's number two for the year. It's so pretty, gray fox. I really just love their furs, and I wish they would be more, um, popular. But anyway, he's a little cold. I'm going to get him dispatched, and I'll see you all then. Guys, out here on the line today. Inside the same trap, I caught that smaller bobcat. Um, I'm not sure, about a week or two ago. Anyway, got a little, a little gray fox in it. Um, I think I'll be keeping this one. It's a good enough size one. Uh, so this is the second gray fox of the year. Caught one in a double door earlier. I think it was in the last video I put out. But here we go, a nice little gray fox. Huh. And I think it's a pretty cool catch. I'm gonna keep be keeping this one. It's good enough size. So. Um, very simplistic set as I showed you before. I'll go ahead and remake the set after I get this one dispatched and we can um, hopefully remake our luck as well. So let's go ahead and get this guy dispatched and I'll see you all then. So here's what the set remake looks like. Very simplistic, just like I had it last time. Of course, I have the little tweeting bird in the back, a little bit of fur, and then I stick the lures on that fur so they can kind of get into the airflow. A little bit of a shiny thing back there as well for some more attractant. Obviously I'm trying to catch bobcats. Not necessarily gray fox, but I will take a gray fox. Um, I set him over here so kind of the blood will come out of his um, head and they'll just drip down like that. So a little bit less blood on the actual fur itself. I'm trying to set it away from the set itself because you don't want to have a whole lot of blood on your traps just because it kind of distracts the animal. So um, I'm trying to uh, keep keep that in control as much as possible but you can only do so much so I've done what I can we're gonna go ahead and leave the set hopefully they'll catch something um, and we'll see it on the line okay guys so it is New Year's Day 2023 and we caught a nice looking bobcat this one I thought it was a badger when I was checking from the road up there because I just used my binoculars but it's a little bit of a low light right now it's really early morning um, and we got a nice looking bobcat. I think it's a good sized tom. So anyway, let's go check him out. Here we go. Very nice cat. Neat business. He's a different kind of growl. I wonder if he's horse or something like that. But anyway, here's a set. One of my absolute favorite sets this year um, because it's caught so many animals. Let me see here. It's a little bit, um, he took some of the brush off there, but still useful and it's still working good obviously so anyway this is a cat i'm gonna have to make a bet here and so this one's at least 20 pounds that's a nice looking bobcat right there so anyway we're gonna go ahead and get him dispatched and i'll see y'all then so here's a remake on this set very simplistic as i always say i really love these simplistic kind of remakes just like the stuff in the back there nothing really even um hanging up from the attractant area uh, partly because I don't have wire on me right now, um, but then partly because I know this will work just fine as well. So that's a set, just a lob of lead and scent right there in the front. Then I have um, some Powder River paste bait in the back there. Um, I'll have the links to all my lures down in the description below if you want to check those out. Really good lures, all of them. So um, I'm more than, I highly recommend doing that. Uh, here's the cat, nice Tom. So this cat, and I can tell because of the fur, is a cat from up north or um actually a little west of here we have some higher mountains 6,000 7,000 feet mountains so I believe this cat's from over there just traveling through but his fur is a little bit shedding and stuff because it's a little bit thinner than it would usually be over there because I've trapped cats over there and I know how the fur usually looks and this is exactly how it looks except it is a little bit thinner so probably came over here and it's a little bit warmer over here so he's shedding some fur because he doesn't need it um but it's gonna be a good cat really like this cat nice size one um and they got some pretty good spots in the belly there so that's gonna be it for this one um we'll catch you guys later and hopefully have another cat to show you what's up guys out here on the line today it's january 19th i already checked the trap it's down there in the wash we got a cat this is a really awesome area i've already caught through uh Two cats in this area, my third cat in this exact same trap that I'm talking about here. Sorry about the shadow. I'm walking right into the sun here. 
But anyway, I got my stuff ready to go head down the line um, and get that cat taken care of. I got three more shots to check. I already missed a cat um, in a wash because it's been freezing these last couple of days, which is really strange out here for the desert. Um, but what happened was the cat walked into the trap when the door was frozen. And then he got out. He, you know, he satisfied what he wanted to get. Got out of the trap and then the door fell after it had thawed down a little bit. So that's the problem with that. We'll go ahead and get to that cat here. And I'll give you a closer look at him. It's right here on the line. I got another cat in the cage trap here. This one looks like a good sized cat. If I do say so myself, a little bit of a smaller Tom if I had to make my guess. This is an eight inch cage trap, but you probably will remember this set location here. Uh, right over here where there's the mountains, there's a wash coming through. Then I set this trap. I caught two cats earlier in this exact same set over here in that pot in that dirt bed though um, but now you can, see, you can see I got a nice looking bobcat there so you really just can't ask for much more than that that's so awesome guys he looks like a nice colored cat you can see him now that I'm looking at him he look, even looks bigger than I uh, initially had expected or thought definitely gonna be a good sized Tom um, and the colors are not looking too bad either so we're gonna go ahead and get this guy dispatched and we'll see y'all then okay guys we got the cat Dispatched right here. This is cat number 10 for the year. So that's an awesome milestone to pass here uh, This is the set itself. Of course, as I've already told you this location is has a very near and dear place In my heart because it's caught so many cats over the years this year itself. It's actually got three cats, which is obviously You can't ask for much more than that. So um, It's been out here for two days. It froze today. It was really cold um, But you can see how well it turned out all right guys, that is the remake on that set here. Very simplistic, as I always say, I really like to just remake my success here. I don't have wire, I barely ever um, am in stock of wire because I use it out so quickly there. Um, but anyway, that's how I remake my sets. I just threw the pieces of fur and then I'll have that tweeting bird in there in the back. Here there, make some noise. Um, that's really been successful for me for these past three years I've been trapping, so. Um, just whenever you remake your set all I tell people is to remake your success so whatever you did that you think you caught that cat with um, do that again and you should be in for um, some good healthy success numbers from those remakes so that's all I can say to you guys we'll go ahead and get this guy in the car and head on down the line okay guys I think it's January 21st here on the line and got us a bobcat this one definitely is not going to be a keeping keeper bobcat. We're going to have to let this one go. If I had to make my guess, it would probably be like a six to eight month old bobcat. Very small and probably still needs his parents, If I, um, you know, to be completely honest here. But we caught the bobcat and that's the real joy of trapping. We're going to go ahead and let this bobcat go and we'll see y'all then. Okay guys, we're going to let this cat go. Oops. Hey, Jimmy. There we go. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's going. There we go. Okay, guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And whether or not you do that, I hope to see you on the next one.